what Tinibu should do about allegations of drug trafficking and others leveled against him. Yerima speaks. President Bola Ahmed Tinibu has been asked to prove to the world that he is innocent of all the allegations that are being constantly leveled against him. The national president of the Arewa Youth Consultative Forum said Tinibu is richly blessed and has nothing to lose by explaining himself. Coming out clean, according to Alahaji Yerima Shetima, will mean the president will only be remembered for good. Now, the Social Economic Rights and Accountability Project, SERAP, a leading non-profit organization focused on anti-corruption as a result of the ongoing trend, has charged President Bola Ahmed Tinibu to make his assets and investment public. According to them, it is expected to declare his assets and investments to the Con Code of Conduct Bureau upon assumption of office. The Nigerian constitution mandates public officers, including the president, vice president, governors, and their deputies to declare their assets and liabilities to the Code of Conduct Bureau at the beginning and the end of their tenures. But the law does not mandate the public officers to make such declarations available to the public. However, failure to declare assets fully or at the appropriate time amounts to a breach that the offender can be prosecuted for at the Code of Conduct Tribunal. Our then President Mohamed Buhari and his deputy Yemi Osipanjo partially disclosed their, disclosed their assets to the Nigerian public in a feeble attempt to fulfill a campaign promise shortly when they assumed office in 2015. Also, our late President Uma Yaradua consistently declared his assets publicly. Thus, Sarah, in a statement, has charged President Bola Ahmed Tinibu to declare his assets and investments known. We should recall that Tinibu, President Bola Ahmed Tinibu, has been linked with drug trafficking by the United States Court and, as a result, not qualified to contest Nigerian presidency. This was one of the grounds for P2B's election cases in the election tribunal. It was reported how court papers from the U.S. linked Tinibu to a drug trafficking case and his eventual forfeiture of the sum of 460,000 U.S. dollars to the American government. The presidential candidate of the Labour Party, P2B, filed his petition to challenge the victory of Bola Metinibu of the All Progressive Congress, APC, in the 25th February election. The Independent National Electoral Commission had announced Tinibu as the winner of the election, after which it declared him pres president-elect. Thus, in Obi's petition before the presidential election petition court in Abuja, Obi alleged that the election was characterized by various irregularities, including the non-qualification of the all-progressive Congress candidate Bola Ahmed Tinibu as a result of drug trafficking. According to him, Tinibu's forfeiture of his funds to the United States government over drug trafficking allegation is an indication that the former Lagos State Governor committed infractions that should disqualify him from running for an election in Nigeria. It was also reported how the judgment directly related to, on February 18, 2009, the newspaper obtained original copies of the judgment in the case of the United States versus Bola Ahmed Tinibu, in which the president-elect was charged, along with other defendants, in a case of massive drug trafficking and money laundry. This judgment, direct, the, this judgment of the United States by its attorney, 
Michael J. Shefford, the United States Attorney for Northern Districts of Illinois, verified complaints of forfeiture and stated that beginning as early as 1998, Ade Boyega Akande, with others, operated an organization which disturbed white heroin and distributed white heroin, a controlled substance under Title 21 of the United States Code. The distribution operation was conducted on a large scale and, proce and proceeds of the operation substance. The court ordered that the funds in the amount of 460,000 U.S. dollars in an account in the name of a president, Bola Metinibu, represent proceeds of narcotics or were involved in financial transactions in violation of 18 U.S.C. SS 1956 and 1957, and therefore these funds are forfeited to the United States. After protracted litigation in which Tinibu claimed that the monies legitimately belonged to him, his wife, Oloremi Tinibu, and his surrogate mother, one Alhaji Mogaji Bola Tinibu, finally opted for a stipulated settlement with the United States government. According to the settlement order dated September 15, 1993, Honorable George John A. Nordberg ordered that the sum of 460,000 US dollars held by Bola Ahmed Tinibu in the First Heritage Bank account be forfeited to the United States government. In Obi's petition, he anchored this claim on the grounds that Tinibu, at the time of the election, was not qualified to contest the election. The court documents read the petitioners state that the grounds on which the petition is based are as follows. The second respondent was, at the time of the election, not qualified to contest the election. The election of the second respondent was invalid by reason of corruption and corrupt practices or non-compliance with the provisions of more than one constituency. The petitioners shall contend at the trial that the purported sponsorship of the second and third respondent by the fourth respondent was rendered invalid by reason of the third respondent knowingly allowing himself to be nominated as the vice presidential candidate while he was still a centurial candidate for the bonus centurial constituency. The petitioner further plead that the second respondent was also at as at the time of the election not qualified to contest the election for the office of the president as he was fined the sum of 460,000 US dollars for an offense involving dishonesty, namely narcotic trafficking imposed by the United States District Court. This is in the decree of forfeiture of George John A. Nordberg in that said case number. 93C4483 ordered on October 4, 1993 on page 3. It is further ordered that the court shall retain jurisdiction over this action in order to implement and enforce the terms of this decree of forfeiture. Obi also added that Tinibu's running mate in the February presidential election, Kashim Shetima, was nominated for two separate constituencies as Boni Central Centurial candidate and vice presidential candidate for Nigerian in the same election circle.